Hello, math learners! Our lesson for today is about arithmetic sequence. The learning objectives for today are You are expected to define arithmetic sequence and common difference. Find the common difference. Tell whether the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not. And determine the next terms of arithmetic sequence. Let us have now the arithmetic sequence. How do you define an arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers with a definite pattern. It is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. And it is commonly called as progression. Let us have now the common difference. What do you mean by common difference? A common difference is a constant difference in all pairs of consecutive numbers in a sequence. It is denoted by the letter D. And we use the common difference to go from one term to another term. We also have increasing and decreasing arithmetic sequences. For increasing, we have if the common difference between consecutive terms is positive, we say that the sequence is increasing. On the other hand, when the difference is negative, we say that the sequence is decreasing. Let us have the illustrative examples of increasing and decreasing arithmetic sequences. For example, if you are given 5, 9, 13, 17, and so on. Taking the common difference, we have 9 minus 5 is positive 4. 13 minus 9 is positive 4. 17 minus 13 is positive 4. So, the common difference is 4, and it is a positive 4. That is why we call this sequence as increasing arithmetic sequence. And for decreasing arithmetic sequence, given 20, 17, 14, and 11. 17 minus 20 is negative 3. 14 minus 17 is negative 3. 11 minus 14 is negative 3. Therefore, the common difference is negative 3. So, it is negative. That's why we call this as decreasing arithmetic sequence. Let us have more examples of arithmetic sequence. Identify each given sequence if it is an arithmetic sequence or not. Number 1. 14, 18, 22, and 26. How do you consider this? Is this an arithmetic sequence or not? And the answer is arithmetic sequence. I will give you the explanation later. Number 2. Given the sequence negative 4, negative 2, 2, 8, and 16. How do you consider this sequence? Is this an arithmetic or not? And the answer is not arithmetic sequence. And number three, given the terms of the sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13, how do you consider this sequence? Is this an arithmetic or not? And the answer is arithmetic sequence. Let us have now the solutions. Given 14, 18, 22, 26, and so on, the solutions would be, take the difference, you have 18 minus 14, it's 4. 
22 minus 18, it's 4. 26 minus 22, it's 4. Therefore, the difference is 4. So we have a common difference. If we have a common difference, it will mean that the sequence can be considered as arithmetic sequence. Next, number 2. The terms of the sequence are negative 4, negative 2, 2, 8, and 16, and so on. The solutions. Taking the difference, we have negative 2 minus negative 4, it's 2. 2 minus negative 2, it's 4. 8 minus 2, it's 6. 16 minus 8 is 8. As you can see, there is no common difference. That is why we call this as not an arithmetic sequence because there is no common difference. Number three, the terms of the sequence are 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. The solutions, 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. 13 minus 10 is 3. Therefore, we have a common difference, which is 3. So, we consider the given sequence as an arithmetic sequence. Let us have more examples on determining whether the given sequence is arithmetic or not. So, the general instruction is, determine whether the given sequence is arithmetic or not. Number 1, 9, 11, 13, and 15. What is your answer? The answer is arithmetic because there is a common difference which is 2. Next, even. 32, 35, and 38. What is your answer? The answer is arithmetic sequence because we have a common difference which is 3. Next given, 4, 12, 36, 108. What is your answer? It is not an arithmetic because we cannot find a common difference. Let us have 12 minus 4, it's 8. 36 minus 12, it's 24. So no common difference. Given 2, negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, and so on. How do you consider this? Is this an arithmetic sequence or not? And the answer is arithmetic sequence because the common difference is negative 4. Do you have questions? If there is none, let's proceed. Given 3, 5, 8, 12, 17, how do you consider this? Is this an arithmetic sequence or not? And the answer is not an arithmetic sequence. Let's try it. 5 minus 3 is 2. 8 minus 5 is 3 and so on. So we cannot find a common difference. Next, let us have examples on finding the next terms of an arithmetic sequence. And these are the steps in finding the next terms of an arithmetic sequence. First, find the common difference. And then add the common difference, which is D, to the current term to have the next term, and then so on. Let us have examples. The instruction is, find the next three terms of each arithmetic sequence. 
So, for example, you are given 4, 7, 10, and 13. So, first, you have to find the common difference. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. 13 minus 10 is 3. Therefore, the common difference is 3. So next, add the common difference to the current term to find the next 3 terms. So the current term is 13. 13 plus 3, which is the common difference, is 16. And 16 now becomes the current term. So 16 plus 3 equals 19. 19 becomes now the current term. So 19 plus 3 equals 22. Therefore, the next three terms of the sequence are 16, 19, and 22. Next, find the next three terms of negative 15, negative 13, negative 11, and so on. So first, you find the common difference. So negative 13 minus negative 15, that is negative 13, simplify the sign, so you have positive 15 equals 2. Then negative 11 Minus negative 13, simplify the signs, negative 11 plus 13 equals 2. Therefore, the common difference is 2. Next step, add the common difference to the current term to find the next terms. So, the current term we have negative 11. So, negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. The negative 9 now becomes the current term. So negative 9 plus 2 equals negative 7. And negative 7 plus 2 equals negative 5. Therefore, the next three terms are negative 9, negative 7, and negative 5. Next, find the next three terms of each sequence. Given the terms of the sequence 14, 18, 22, and 26. So, what are the next three terms? And the next three terms are 30, 34, and 38. What is your common difference? The common difference is... So 26 plus 4 is 30, plus 4, 34, plus 4, 38. Next. Given the terms of the sequence, 24, 16, 8, and 0. What are the next three terms? And the answers are negative 8, negative 16, negative 24 as you can see this is a decreasing arithmetic sequence so 16 minus 24 it will give you a negative 8 so the common difference is negative 8 so that is why the next three terms are negative 8 negative 16 and negative and number three, what are the next three terms of the given sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13? And the answers are 16, 19, 22. What is the common difference? That is 3. So 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. 19 plus 3 is 22. Do you have questions?
If there is none, see you next time.